So in our last video, we set up our very first product, but of course it doesn't do any good unless somebody can actually pay for it. So in this video, we're going to set up our payment gateways. And if you followed along with the installation video, you'll have already installed the Stripe plugin. So head over to WooCommerce, click on Settings, and then click on Checkout. You should see a number of checkout options here. Go ahead and click on Stripe. Make sure you've enabled Stripe. You can update the title and description if you want. We'll enable the test mode. And of course, this is pretty important simply because we don't want to actually create real orders and pay real money as we're testing this. In the statement descriptor field, go ahead and type Purpleville. The statement descriptor is what shows up on the customer's credit card statement. So we want to be as clear as possible here. If you use something that people won't recognize, you'll get chargebacks for displaying an unusual name, and you'll probably lose valid payments. To get these two fields, the test publishable key and secret key, we need to head over to stripe.com and log in. Now, if you didn't create an account earlier in the setup process and you don't have a Stripe account, well, it's really simple to do. If you have a Stripe account, well, then you can already do this with your own account. I'm going to click Sign In, and you'll notice, don't have an account? Sign up here. When I installed WooCommerce, I set up a brand new account. I got the email you're seeing on your screen, and I'm going to click Claim Your Stripe Account, and it brings me to this particular screen, where I can now enter a password. I'll save my Stripe account, and now I can view my dashboard. I have no intention of actually activating this account. So now I need to get these keys for the test data. I'm going to click on Developers and click on API Keys. Now you'll notice I'm automatically in test mode. Here's the publishable key for this particular account. So I'm going to copy that and put that in here. And then I'm going to click that link and get the secret test key and paste that in. If I select this box, it's going to give me a pay here button and a modal pop-up will pop up for my credit card. I'm going to leave that blank. Go ahead and scroll down and just click Save Changes. There's a number of other settings that you can play with there, but these are the most important ones. So now your site is ready to accept credit cards. When you're ready to go live, you can repeat the steps, disable test mode in WooCommerce, and of course, copy over your live keys. Let's go ahead and set up PayPal, and it's exactly the same. Go ahead and enable PayPal standard. We'll go ahead and enable the PayPal sandbox. And one last thing you might want to pay attention here, the PayPal identity token can be important. If you find later on that payments are coming from PayPal, but they're not marked as complete, there's probably something going on with the PayPal IPN. And that's this information here. If that's the case, you'll definitely want to fill out the PayPal identity token. It allows for payments to be verified without the IPN. PayPal IPN works fine most of the time, but there are some hosts and configurations that it just doesn't work that well. You can read more about the PayPal identity token at the link on the screen. All right, let's go ahead and click Save Changes. And let's go and test out our store. So I'm going to go to the shop and I'm going to purchase a t-shirt. I can view my cart and now I should be able to check out. And here we are. On the checkout page, it's going to ask for my billing information, the country, street address, all of that information that they need. And then over here on the right, pay with your credit card via Stripe. Test mode is enabled and it conveniently gives you credit card information that you can use to test. I really like that because honestly, sometimes it's hard to remember. You'll notice as soon as I started entering in my address information that WooCommerce went ahead and calculated the shipping for me, which is really nice. Priority mail is $7.25, tax is $2.26, and now I can go ahead and test the payment gateway. I'm going to copy and paste that in and give it an expiry date that's at some point in the future and a fake CBC number and click place order. And 
My order has been received. Order number 13. There's my email, the total, and the credit card information. This is really fantastic. There's my billing address and my shipping address. So let's take a look in the back end and see what happened. I'm going to go to orders. And here's my first order, Rod Martin, one minute ago. I can preview the order. It's processing. And if I click on that, it gives me the actual ID number for the Stripe credit. And here's the complete summary of the order. Not only does it give me a great summary of the order, it also tells me that the Stripe charge is complete, gives me the confirmation number here. I can add notes, etc., to the actual order. So this is really fantastic. At this point, your checkout process is working. If you wanted to, you could turn on live mode, accept real payments, and start fulfilling this order. In the next set of videos, we're going to look at some of the types of products that you can actually sell with WooCommerce.